Hello Gabla peeps! We'll be taking a look at the high grade Gun Volva from the series mobile suit Gundam The Witch from Mercury. By the way, this is a model kit from our Team Cabo Raffle last October 4, 2024, courtesy of JP Rowe Studios. So going back, Gun Volva is a remote controlled swarm weapon said to be one of Gun Arm's superior features. In other words, the Gun Volva is essentially a gun bit in the shape of a Gundam or a fin funnel with a head, set of arms and legs. And it also lacks any cockpit hatch or cockpit block. So this model kit from Bandai comes with just two plastic bags with six runners including beam effects and a small sheet of sticker. Runner A includes the armor, shield and some parts of the head. Runner B1 includes the inner frame for the torso, waist, legs and side skirt. Runner B2 includes the inner frame for the arms, beam carbine and shield. Runner C includes the rest of the armor for the legs, shoulders, waist and some head parts. Runner D is for the inner part of the head that includes the eyes and the head camera. SB13 for the beam saber effect and a small sticker sheet for the eyes, head camera, activated shell unit and for the beam carbine. Bandai never disappoints when it comes to Witch from Mercury Kids aesthetics. There are some who are not fond of the Gun Volva's color scheme with this almost all gray motif. Well, it's a mass produced remote controlled gun bit so it probably has to be somewhat uniform in color I think. But in person, it's more than that. It has four shades of gray with a white trim for the antenna or V-fin if you like. It complements the overall silhouette, which I like the most. It's bulky, boxy, and curvy at the same time. It has an awesome shoulder, waist, and hip proportions. For the accessories and gimmicks, Gun Volva has no built-in weapons. It is, however, equipped with the beam carbine a small but efficient long-range weapon with a removable magazine which unfortunately has a hollow side. It is up to you on how to display it either side. The beam carbine can be stored on either side of the calves and there's also an extra magazine stored on the back of the shield. Sadly, it's just for display. You have to cut and sand it down so you can use it in the beam carbine. Speaking of shield, this is just a simple one with two colors. I just painted the chrome and the blue accents. At the back, you'll see the extra magazines, a beam saber storage, and the sliding peg for attaching to either arms. It comes with two beam sabers and beam effect parts. I just bet the other one for that swinging effect. I also like the two special gimmicks of this kit. First is the moving side skirts on the hinge and a ball joint that keep the legs free for any abstractions while posing. The second one is the awesome knee armor and joint movements. I'll just show it to you and you'll see the awesome leg movement here.
The building process was a breeze. I can even snug fit the parts perfectly with just two fingers without too much force. And just like any other Witch Pro Mercury kits, it's a non polycap build so no loose joints whatsoever. So far so good. A simple yet solid build. You can finish this for around 2 hours but if you nitpick on cleaning all the knobs and knob marks, it might take a bit longer just like what I did. The only thing that bothers me here is when you move the manipulators on a certain angle, it can easily pop out. I did so several times. I know it's a bit subjective and kind of repeating myself but I really love the design and silhouette especially the gorgeous leg design and articulation. Not even the main mobile suit has this. Or maybe not. For more Gumpla and toy reviews, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Young at Soul. Kita kids!